In this video, we'll take a look at the path that the blood follows as it flows through the body. The objective of the circulatory system is to transport nutrients to cells and wastes from the cells. For example, oxygen must be delivered to all body cells for cellular respiration and carbon dioxide waste needs to be delivered to the lungs. It would not be efficient for oxygen rich and carbon dioxide rich blood to mix with one another. A double loop circulatory system prevents this from occurring. There are two parts to the circulatory system. There is the pulmonary circulation in which deoxygenated blood travels to the lungs and then returns to the heart. And there is in pulmonary circulation carbon dioxide rich blood from the body cells returns to the right side of the heart and is pumped to the lungs so that the carbon dioxide can be removed and oxygen can be picked up. The oxygen rich blood then returns to the left side of the heart and from there it is pumped to all body cells to drop off the oxygen and return to the right side of the heart. This is systemic circulation. A double loop circulatory system requires two pumps. The human heart is a double pump. It consists of two separate pumps, one for each flow circuit. One side is made up of the right atrium and the right ventricle which pumps deoxygenated blood into the pulmonary circulation. This circuit produces less pressure. The left circuit includes the left atrium and ventricle which pumps oxygenated blood into the whole body system. Blood in one circuit must go through the heart to enter the other circuit. So here's the path of blood flow through the two circuits. Deoxygenated blood enters the right atrium via the vena cava. It passes to the right ventricle and leaves the heart via the pulmonary artery. It goes to the lungs where gas exchange occurs and the newly oxygenated blood returns to the left side of the heart via the pulmonary veins. This is pulmonary circulation. The oxygenated blood enters the left atrium, moves to the left ventricle and is given a very big push moving it into the aorta. The aorta branches many times into smaller arteries, arterioles and finally capillary beds all over the body delivering oxygen to body cells. Carbon dioxide is also picked up at the body from the body cells and the capillary beds merge into venules first, then veins and finally into the vena cava again. This loop of the circulatory system is systemic circulation. So you can see the two loops. The pulmonary loop which leads from the right side of the heart to the lungs and then back to the heart, this time the left side of the heart. And systemic loop which leads from the left side of the heart to the body cells and then back to the right side of the heart. Hence we have a double loop circulatory system. This image shows the same thing but underscoring the fact that the two sides of the heart keep the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood separate. That summarizes pulmonary and systemic circulation.